today we are going to build the alarm uh, clock application so here is the design that i've inspired from uh, i'm gonna put the link into the description and i inspired from that design then i designed our own uh, design and, and just i made it a little bit simpler the design is uh, actually follows neomorphism design and here we have a an analog uh, clock and here an, uh, a digital clock and it's gonna be more like a design only uh, only these two uh, would work but all other uh, buttons uh, won't work so the focus would be how we can actually uh, achieve and have analog clock with this uh, compose jetpack compose S and you can skip I'm, I'm trying to explain as slow and as uh, detailed as i can so you can skip to the checkpoints that you want to uh, listen to or watch to and because of that just I'm, I'm trying to just explain very very slowly so so first of all let's just have a look into the project that we have uh, the project you can uh, have access to it uh, in my github the link would be in the description as well so we're gonna have the team and the color all the colors that we are going to use already are here the team that we are going to use is here and the typography would be here as well the only difference here is that uh, we have f font provider with this phone provider we are going to download uh, our custom not custom actually a uh, uh, google um, phones from uh, for example here i'm using poppins uh, it's gonna be downloaded and it's downloaded but as soon as you run the application and here will be the main activity nothing is inside it's almost empty let's go to the build cradle here and in, even in the build cradle there is no dependency extra dependency the only one would be this one for downloading the phones and that would be all and we're gonna start with implementing this navigate this navigation bar and this title and this and after we're gonna continue with having this digital clock and we're gonna finish with this analog clock as you can see there are some uh, shadows here that we have to work on and we know that how we can have shadow in jetpack compose if you watch my previous video so everything should be easy so let's start with the main activity and uh, let's see what we are going to implement previews and composable that i'm not going to use and uh, let's get rid of the surface as well and uh, instead of this i'm going to have a um, scaffold component here to have the bottom bar okay so it's gonna be bottom bar equal so i'm gonna have a com navigation bar component here and uh, let's just have uh, same thing here as well navigation bar component we are going to have and uh, currently it's gonna be empty okay, yeah even hello so and after that what we need is that we need to have a box here okay let's import the box and the box this is the um, first uh, container that we are going to use and because of that i'm going to have modifier that gets uh, first of all padding it is very mandatory to have the padding if you are you have scaffold so we are getting a padding value so i'm gonna write away past the paddings that i have and right after that i'm gonna go say that fill max size okay so it should just capture all the spaces and right after that we need a column and in the column we need to have horizontal alignment yes and alignment uh, yeah something like that let's me yep 
uh, amazing here I have to import this alignment everything is good and yes so here uh, what we do have is is the, the header we have and the bottom bar I, I already added so with the header and one box to make those these two clocks in the center okay so I'm gonna have a header component here and uh, let's add it here as well so header components perfect and uh, same thing here just add a dummy uh, component so here let's see what is the problem with this scaffold oh yes it says that we have to add annotation because it is still in the preview version so uh, let's go and have a box for the rest of the content that we have and for this one actually I want to show both of them in the center of the screen because of that I'm going to have a, a fill max size okay and right after I'm going to have fill max height with a fraction of a uh, fraction of 0.8 okay so we're going to just use 80 percent of the height of the current the parent and right after i do need to have another column because to both both of my um both of my components would be there so one of the components that i'm gonna have is analog component the other one is digital clock component and i need a spacer in between so modify height uh, actually 24 would be better here and yes so we have added all the necessary stuff and if we run the application right now let's see what we're gonna see okay uh, yes we have the bottom bar and we have the header as well let's start with the and uh, let's start with header which is the easy which is actually easier than the other one box here and inside of box just need a modifier first and padding and vertical padding would be good to have a vertical of padding of 16 dp and instead of that we can have a text and the text would be just a clock as what we have in the design right yes so clock and the style would be uh, title medium so here's gonna be the header of the app exactly let's continue with the navigation component that so here we are going to use navi navigation navigation bar that we do have it already and what else do we need is that um, color uh, we have to change the color of the navigation bar and um, because of that uh, container color I'm going to change the counter color of the uh, of the navigation bar to uh, navigation well, let me check the colors that we have okay which shouldn't have Android navigation bar no not this one ah. So this one, I'm going to use this one here, right? I'm going to use this color here. And instead of navigation bar, what we are going to use is navigation bar item, okay? So is it selected false? What we are going to do, nothing, okay? Let me get rid of this one and 
icon so the icon that we want to have would be icon which is uh, which has a painter then painter resource exact same thing I'm going to use this drawable so I just I have added actually these drawables into the project so we can use them here so the first one for example I'm gonna use the axis time and let's so how many do we need let's just double check the design we shall have five buttons here two three four five perfect and the first one should be the um, alarm I guess it is alarm alarm outline right yes alarm the second would be let me have a look so it should be hourglass yes this one is the same and but the only difference would be the true this select it should be selected already we are because we are checking the clock the next would be the timer as i remember right and the last one would be the hotel or bed yes so we are not going to actually work on any other screens the only one that we are going we are actually going to work is this time okay and perfect let's run the application and see so actually we have the navigation bar so what is missing is that we need to have a shadow and it should be curve as well on the top so let's do it here okay let's close this one and close hide this one as well how we can achieve that we're gonna do it with modifier equal to modifier right and shadow if you have watched my previous video you know the shadow so what we are going to have is just have a look into the shadow let me move myself over there and just check the drop shadow that we have so there are minus five as minus five as y uh, it is blur as 50 uh, here is the color okay so let's come back here and so we need to have a color and the color should be navigation bar shadow color exactly this is the color that i've already added to the project offset x should be 0 dp and offset y should be uh, minus 5 dp and blur radius should be 55 0 perfect and the next would be uh, clipping so uh, rounded exactly rounded top start and top end i guess 10 would be the best and yes and here we have to wrap it into parentheses let's run it and see so perfect so we have the shadow and we have the rounded coordinates as well i'm going to have this component here in this page as well let's scroll here here it would be easier uh, digital exactly so what we need to pass as parameters are one of them would be the hour which would be a string the next one would be the minute and the next would be am or pm as a string to know so we are not going to show any seconds or anything like that so that's why we are not required to pass any other parameters here these are these are would be the only one and there are gonna be two texts one of them showing the time okay 
text equal to so exactly hour minute and am or pm perfect and the next would be the style which would be typography dot title large i'm going to use here and the next one would be the location that we're gonna pass something dummy here text equal to for example berlin germany and 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 the style jesus sorry the style would be material theme dot uh, body medium and the only difference here is that we have to change the color of this uh, location that's why i'm going to have another text style with only the color and with the colors that the scheme and on background alpha six exactly so what i've done here is that i just merged the same uh, style that we had with this style that i've created and uh, with the different color so on background with this alpha with six percent alpha so if we run this then we should be able to see the digital clock as well let's just have it like this and i am um, okay let's just see how it looks like so far perfect so we have it here the only problem is that it, it is not centered problem here so we have the alarm clock we have the the first box and uh yeah actually actually i guess the problem should be here exactly content alignment if we make it as a center then no not even here so the content alignment i know that it should be the center the box that we have okay uh in here uh, we have to do the same then yes perfect so it works so right now it is in the center the only problem is that it is not the actual the time the time is wrong so to fix this what i'm going to use definitely we have to use view model but for here for here in this tutorial we're going to use an easier easiest easier way actually i would say and let's have a hour here let me see what is the problem but let's just see what is the problem here in bird okay so i need to have four of these one of them would be the hour the other one would be the minute the other one would be second we need it for the analog clock am or pm we need as well okay so the next one that we need is that um so we have these now we need to have the correct timing so i'm going to use launch effect which is something for coroutine okay and i'm gonna pass it as a unit and here as soon as we run the application this launch effect would be after um actually after we, after the application successfully launched then this function this scope will be run so what we are going to do here is that we are going to get the actual time okay and right after we are going to get the hour for example here and if the length of the hour is equal to zero then i'm gonna put a zero before if it is, if the length is one it means that for example it is one am then i just want to have it two character because of that i've added this smart part of the code and at the last we have this am or pm perfect sorry so this we have we have the hour minute second actual hour minute second here let's pass them to our digital clock 
a.m. or p.m. If we run it, then we should see the actual time, which is not correct, right? Because it has never been launched. It has never been launched. Oh, okay, okay. So actually, we put it into the delay, and what it means that it's gonna run a lot of time. But we need to put a delay here to make it each one second because each one second we are going to update our uh, time. So right now it, it is working. So the time is 8.14 p.m. And it is perfectly working. So let's just start with the analog clock component and pass our, uh, we need our as integer we need minute again as integer and we need second as integer as well so the first thing that we need here is a box and just have a box here what i need to have is a uh, modifier modifier dot uh, fill max size of a uh, fraction of six so i'm going to get only 60 percent of the space that we have to make it a little bit smaller a smaller let me close this one and make it a little bit bigger perfect so here we have a box and inside of the box that we have i'm going to have a canvas and the canvas i'm going to do the same i'm going to have a fill max size here and on the draw I'm going to get rid of this part and move it here so we're going to draw and all the uh, clocks uh, components that we have and for that we are going to have canvas and so just one thing I have to mention here is that we have to calculate the diameter of the circle that we have with that the component or the circle that we are going to have it uh, and the radius as well. So for, for that purpose, we are going to have a diameter, diameter, okay, equal to mean. We have to, so it depends how the user is you know, uh, I mean, if the, the width is bigger, is uh, less, then we're going to use the width. Uh, if the height is the less value, then we're going to use the height one. So for that purpose, I'm going to use size dot width or size dot high. So we're going to choose which one is smaller, then we're going to choose, we're going to choose that one. Let's import uh, the Kathleen uh, myth, I uh, mean. Uh, so this one still we need to uh, subtract with a little bit of fraction again so it's gonna be here uh, times to 0 0.9 to make it a little bit smaller to have to leave some space around the circle or around the clock that we have and then and the reason is that we here we have two different backgrounds and each of them they have uh, shadows and to make the uh, shadows visible we need to have these spaces so let's go with the next one which would be the radius radius actually and radius would be the half of the diameter right divided by two perfect and the next step would having this uh, our marker which is we have here one is here second one is here third one is the fourth so we have four different other markers around the clock that we have and there looks like a, a line so we're gonna draw a line very small lines and because of that uh, we need to have star i have from where we have to draw the line so so far we have only the center of the component or the circle that we have because of this canvas so we have the center so this we are in the center right now and we actually we need to be on the top and uh, on, on the border not on the border on the border of the canvas that we have actually on the border of the canvas that we have we should be right now so center minus uh, what do we need is that 
of set of um, we don't need to change the x value right and minus uh, we have to make the center m subtract from y okay so that's why we are going to have radius here so right now we are on the top of the circle so start would be on the top right and the end would be from the start that we have plus a little bit so a fraction we just want to move down so we are going to change the y again so plus start plus offset and we're gonna keep the x value here and we need to have a radius just a fraction would be like a 40 divided by 40 let's see how it looks like i mean before that we have to draw the line that we have in hand so we need to have the color color i would say it should be white i mean i know that that it, it most probably it is white so we need the start point which is this one we need the end point which is this one what else we need is um stroke width uh stroke the stroke width the thickness of the line that we have five would be more than good to pixel actually and the last one we have to make this line you know on, on the corner of the lines uh, uh, around so that's why i'm going to use a stroke cap round okay so now we are going to have a very small line on the top of the circle okay so to make it visible for us i'm going to have i'm going to have a red background here color dot red okay let's run the application perfect so we have one uh, actually uh, we have one other marker here on the top we need to have four of them so to do that uh, instead of calculating each and one of the uh, points what we are going to do we are going to just rotate the canvas with rotate function okay so we do have the rotate function let's just rotate the canvas like this okay how many times we are going to do it we are going to repeat it for four times because we need four actually uh, marker so we have it here divided by so the fraction uh, i mean we need to have four so it's gonna be divided by four and and it should be multiplied by uh, degree so it's gonna rotate the canvas four times and we're gonna draw actually one line straight uh, and, and vertical each time but since we are just uh, rotating the canvas it's gonna be four in different uh, part of the clock that we wanted so far let me just move this start and end into the repeat part and run the application so perfectly so instead of actually calculating each and one of these markers we just rotated the rotated the canvas so much more easier we could have achieved to have these markers so let's continue and uh, uh, work on the hands uh, clock hands that we need so for example we need uh, we need uh, to have this hour hand we need to have this minute hand and this second hand so from here what i need is second uh, i need to have second ratio perfect so it's going to be second divided by 60 right and minute will be the same ratio it's going to be minutes to 60 right very easy well the next one second uh, hour 
equal to ratio I forgot to add the ratio over divide by this one 12 okay so we do have only 12 not 60 perfect so let's start with the uh, our hand and let's see how we can have it so we are going to do the same we are going to actually rotate the canvas and draw what we need okay this is the easiest way to do it otherwise it's gonna be very complex let's go with our ratio times to 360 and it's gonna be in the center okay so the center of the rotation would be center of the whole uh, compound or circle that we have perfect and again what we are going to do is just draw a line very very straightforward so and draw line i'm going to have here perfect we need to have the start and again before the, this one let me have the color because you know having the color on the top would make much more sense at least to me uh, here i have the color in the color palette and the start would be center okay so we are going to draw from the top to the center of the uh, circle okay so the start should be start subtract off so we don't want to just draw the whole um, oh, let's just close this we don't want to just um, actually uh, draw the, the the hand very big so it's gonna be for example it's gonna be uh, here is half of the um, uh, radius so because of that we are going to subtract it from offset of so same thing we are not going to change the x value at all but what we are going to do we are going to have a partial of this radius that we need so for the hour i'm going to use four percent of the radius it's gonna be and uh, which when it's where it's gonna end would be the center actually right but but there is one catch here as you can see we have not finished at the center we finished a little bit went a little bit more to make it like actual clocks so we have to plus okay a little bit so same thing that we have here again we are not going to change the x value here as well but we are going to pass the center of the circle a little bit more and we need to the thickness we need to pass and the thickness for the hour would be 3dp a little bit more than other hands it should be a little bit thicker and the last would be the cap yes the last would be the cap and the cap would be stroke cap dot round to make it round perfect so we have the hour ratio let's run and see how it looks like perfect we have the hour the next one we need the same thing that we had here perfect but here for the minute and the color i have to use the minute color hand okay and so the differences would be for example a little bit thinner it's gonna be this line the end would be exactly the same but uh, the length of the minute hand would be a little bit bit longer than our that we had so here i'm gonna choose six to make it a little bit longer uh, everything else can be the same let's go to the next one rotate and this one would be the second second this one longer same thickness everything else we're gonna keep the same okay let's just run and see perfect we have we have all the hands and still and it is moving actually let's just change the color of this second and the other thing i just want to get rid of this 
ugly background. Okay, let's rerun it again. Perfect. So we have it here. So the other part we can see there is a circle in the center of what we have. So because of that, I'm going to have the circle right here. Okay, so draw circle, right? Color actually should be the same color that we have for the second hand color, okay? And let's go with this. Mm, what else do we radius we need to have? Radius, how much? So we're gonna decide, for example, five would be okay. DP to pixel, perfect, we have it. And the center, where should be the center? Center should be centered, right? Center, we do have the center, and here we have the center as well. So let's see. So we draw this circle before our hands. That's why it is not visible. Let's just move it down. This perfect. So as you can see, we have the circle here as well, and everything looks much nicer. So the last part would be having two background. So actually we have two circles. So one box I'm gonna put for this one, one box for this one for different colors, okay? Let's have one more box, right? One more box here. Let's have one more box here. What we do need here. This is the first box that we have and fill max size would be 60% and uh, what I need to have is just have the aspect ratio of 1, right? So it's going to be squared differently and the other part we need to have is a, a clip ping that we need to have like a circle shape and uh, what else do we need is a uh, background the background should be uh, let me go and pick the background so it is the inner one so outer right so it should be the background for the first circle Perfect and for the second circle which is inside I'm going to Do almost the same modifier and Still we need to have this fraction here as well because as you can see there is a space here so as I remember something like 76 DP no, no, 76 percent or fraction would be uh, more than enough I mean, let's just check it is 78 actually so same thing aspect ratio one and the <coughs> clip the circle shape sorry and the background should be again let's go have this background here right so we have two of our boxes. Let's run and see. So there's a problem here. So it is not in the center. Very funny actually. So what I need to do is just go here and content alignment, content align. Why it is not auto compare doesn't work? I don't know. Alignment that center. Okay, so if we run it, then it should be better, right? It is in the center now, and everything is much more better. So the only problem right now is that we do not have any shadow. Here we have shadow, and it looks much nicer compared to what we have here. I don't know why zoom out doesn't work anyway. So let's come back here. And uh, let's work on the shadow. So as you remember, if you watched my previous video, so we just uh, added this shadow to the modifier. 
so we had our own custom shadow but here the difference is that here we are going to draw a rectangle but actually what we need now is to draw something uh, circular or, or as a circle we have to draw a circle instead of uh, rectangle to make it to look to make it nicer I would say so because of that I'm gonna have the second I, I, I can pass the shape something like a shape you can pass to make it like a circular or rectangular but the thing is that um, I prefer to have it in different functions to make it more understandable for myself and for you guys so, so shadow I'm gonna name it circular shadow okay this is the function that we need, need to have and everything would be the same as previous one right so I'm gonna do the same R here offset definitely we need to have offset 0 dp by the default offset for the Y 0 dp again by default and pillar radius and 0 dp as well perfect so and here we are going to have it in the den of the modifier because we are already in the uh, then then we're gonna have it here then then <laughs> draw behind same thing again draw behind draw into canvas into canvas right past the canvas okay so same thing again paint equal to paint right yes uh, well uh, frame framework I don't know what somehow my github copilot doesn't work anymore now it is back framework paint is should be equal to for, for real this github copilot is, is gone literally it is gone very very interesting so i just installed the newest uh, android stereo and after that i have some problems with this uh enable company yeah okay so okay so framework paint would be paint dot as framework paint uh same thing if the radius is not zero dp then make it blurry uh, here should be normal as well thanks to this uh, co-pilot change the color to uh, I, I set the color for the frame uh, framework paint um, by uh, converting it to ARGB and this is the and now we have everything to draw our circle so center we do have so center definitely should be um, this size, uh, I mean, uh, width and height divided by two. But the question that I have here is that we do have center, right? Why not using center itself? This should work. So the radius would be uh, uh, the width divided by two, definitely. And the pain we do have here, uh, offset y, offset z. It is not have been you. Oh no no no! We need to. We are not. We it, it is not possible to. Oh got it got it. I just got this. So we are we cannot actually use the center because I mean we have to you know draw the shadow um, a little bit after or before the current. I mean, it should be customizable by the user because it's a shadow, and uh, we are going to change these. So definitely, we need it. And uh, this, this is wrong. So this is wrong. Uh, if if we wanted to use this size that way, then using the center would make much more sense. So the x would be center dot x plus uh, the offset that we passed. To pixel right and the y center that y exactly plus 
the opposite y that we have already passed. So we have the shadows that we want. And now we can uh, add the shadow to the boxes that we have. The only problem here is that the first uh, the first uh, circle that we have here it has four different shadows. That's that could be quite difficult to add. I'm gonna pause the video, add all those shadows, and resume again. So the, here we have four different shadows. So I need to have four different here as well. I'm gonna do it right before the clipping shadow circle. It's perfect so i've added all the shadows here and uh, let me run and see how it looks like so far perfect we have the shadows and it looks much much better and we have the clock so it is 9 13 and it is amazing so thank you so much everyone for watching this video see you in the next video take care till then, see you. Bye-bye.